Hi, have you been wondering what this satisfies keyword means in TypeScript? In this video, we're going to see the problem it's trying to solve and a practical example of how you might use it. Let's say we have this user variable here, which is a simple object with a few properties. Let's do a hover and see the inferred type, and we can see that TypeScript is doing a pretty good job of determining the type of those properties. So let's say I introduce a new variable. Let's say my name, which is simply user that name, and do a hover. It says correctly that it is string. But the problem with relying purely on inference is that we can screw something up. Let's say we have a very huge program, and somewhere we set age to null. To enforce this constraint, we can introduce a new type. Let's say user which is a simple record from string to either number or string. And we say that user is of type user. Now we get a helpful compilation error from TypeScript telling us that age cannot be null. Let's bring back the number that was here to solve the issue. But if we go back to the my name variable, we can see that it is no more a string, but rather a number or string. And this is where the satisfies keyword comes in. Instead of saying that user is of type user, user satisfies the user type. And this gives us the same guarantees that we had before. So we can do something silly like this. And at the same time, we keep the type inference that we had before. And my name is correctly inferred as string. I hope you feel like you've learned something. Please let me know in the comments below what you think about the satisfies keyword and any situations you might have found it useful. If you've liked this video, please like and subscribe. Thanks, see you in the next one.